Are you ready for some real food? Hardee's. News Channel 8, your 24-hour news source. Now, live from the News Channel 8 studio, this is News Channel 8 Nightside. Good evening. Police in the Quad City area have been alerted to be on the lookout for a suspect who allegedly tried to kidnap a youngster in East Moline this afternoon. Police say a man tried to lure a 10-year-old boy into his car while the youngster was walking in the 1400 block of 13th Street. The suspect has been described as a male Mexican around 30 to 35 years old, wearing a red Chicago Bull sweatshirt and driving an older model brown four-door car with the bottom rusted out. To the south of us in St. Louis, police are searching for a 10-year-old girl who disappeared four days ago. Police say her disappearance occurred almost the same way as a 9-year-old who was found dead last week. Jeff Flock has more. One family mourns. Whoever this person is, he's got to stop. Somebody's got to help him. Another family hopes desperately it won't have to mourn. When I saw when I saw her and her little girl's face, my heart was just ripped in two. And then to think, you know, ten days later, I would have a, a disappearance. Following the abduction and murder of nine-year-old Angie Hausman outside St. Louis, another girl about the same age, from about the same area, in about the same way, has turned up missing. Like Angie, ten-year-old Cassidy Center just vanished. We're going to line up on this road here, sweep up probably up to that red fences right now. Then we're going to turn around, we're going to come back down. We'll... So they line up and move out, looking under logs and old rugs in abandoned houses, searching through the briars and brambles, anywhere, everywhere. They comb the underbrush and walk along these country roads looking for some trace of Cassidy Center. That is the most maddening part to the parents and to the children, the fact that this girl has disappeared almost without a trace. Well, as of right now, uh, there are some leads. But little evidence. Lieutenant Robert Tritter of the St. Louis County Police leads the frustrating search. Well, I guess it's, it's, it has to be very frustrating for everyone. A search this weekend of the area around Hazelwood where the youngster disappeared failed to turn up anything. In Sonoma County, California, the main suspect in the kidnapping and murder of 12-year-old Polly Class is being held without bail. Richard Davis was booked today for investigation of kidnapping and murder. Police say they'll file formal charges this week. Brian Rooney has more on that case. This morning, investigators were still working over the area where Polly Class's body was found. But already there was a small shrine for the 12-year-old girl as mourners left flowers and candles at the door of the center where volunteers had worked around the clock to find her. We just knew Polly was coming home. We just knew she was coming home. <laughs> and then this. This is a small town coming to grips with the idea that the problems of the world have come to the front door. It's as if Petaluma lost its innocence the night two months ago when Polly Class was snatched at knife point from her bedroom. Mark Class said in a statement this morning, I want to thank everyone there for praying and support. I want to say to every parent everywhere, please protect your children. Authorities said the suspect they've been holding, Richard Allen Davis, gave them the information that led them to Polly Class's body 30 miles from where she lived. The case finally broke last week when Davis, a man twice convicted of kidnapping, was arrested for drunk driving. On Friday, police revealed that a palm print taken from Polly Class's bedroom matched Davis's hand. Yesterday, they said, Davis decided to tell them where the body was. The name of Polly Class has quickly become a cry of outrage that this sort of thing would happen to a child and that a man with Davis's record could be free on parole. I think the anger is, is that this can happen uh, over and over again in this country, that repeat offenders are let go. Many of the volunteers who spent so much of their time in the search for Polly Class vow that they will carry on in her name in the search for other missing children in America. Brian Rooney, ABC News, Petaluma, California. South of Petaluma, Los Angeles police have arrested a man for questioning in connection with a series of attacks on children in California's San Fernando Valley. However, they're warning they're not ready to declare the case solved. Police say they've arrested a 45-year-old man from Encino who fits the description of a man who's assaulted at least 32 children in the last two months. 
Police patrols have been beefed up near schools in the San Fernando Valley. Police say it'll continue tomorrow. Well, many of us take for granted the time we spend with friends and loved ones during the holiday season, but there are some Quad Cityans who take nothing for granted. As Carol Clark tells us, for them, every moment is precious. The hall is filled with cheer on this Sunday afternoon. More than 100 children and their parents sharing in a Christmas party. Many of the children here have something in common. They have cancer. I've had leukemia for about three years. How are you doing so far? Fine, I went off treatment in March. The Higleys are here with their eight-year-old son, Andy, who was diagnosed when he was four years old. He was diagnosed with ALL leukemia and he has been off chemotherapy for six months. <laughs> so you folks are rejoicing here at this Christmas party. Oh, yeah. Then you always think of the, there's the one that's worse off than you are, you know. You always think of that. We thank God for the countless number of miracles among us. The Knights of Pythias sponsor this Christmas party for the children. Five candles are lit representing love, hope, and courage. The families are all members of Quad City Candle Lighters. It's a support group for parents who have children with cancer. Candle Lighters tell us there are at least 300 children right here in the Quad Cities who suffer from some form of cancer. There just is no substitute for candle lighters because we all know, we all have children that who have cancer and we all know what it's like to go through. Five-year-old Casey even made a special trip here today. He's been hospitalized for more than a year now. He came by ambulance. We want to try to provide as much normal activity and normal childhood life for Casey as we can. And to bring him to an event like this is some of the things that we can do to help him speed his recovery along. Some families have lost the war against cancer, but those here will tell you it's all about love, hope, and survival. Carol Clark, News Channel 8 in Milan. There's been a change in the weather. John David is here to tell us about it, John. Well, that's right, Jim. Windy and colder conditions returning just in time for Monday morning. So keep that in mind and perhaps some light snow as well. Right now, clouds in the area along with some drizzle. Temperature at 42 degrees. Overnight, we'll look for periods of light rain, perhaps changing over to a bit of light snow, but really no accumulation expected, a low about 30. And then for tomorrow, flurries ending in the morning, turning partly sunny, a high just 34. But it will feel colder because it's going to be Wendy. As Sorry. we wake up to three feet of snow. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, John. No, not this time. When the night side continues, it's been a busy day in space. Tonight's news is brought to you by Four Seasons, Leading Lady, MGR Juniors, and Elite Petites. Ladies, you have to shop smart to look smart. Shop Four Seasons, Leading Lady, merry go -round and Elite Petites for sensational dresses, coats, sportswear, and accessories in every size imaginable. Earn an A-plus by shopping our four stores in downtown Geneseo, Princeton, Illinois, and our new location on Kimberly at Jersey Ridge Davenport. And tell them your fashion instructor, Heidi, sent you. While these floor lamps aren't the same, one from Venture comes with a matching table lamp, free. So which one would you rather have? Pontiac, more selection. This year's best selection of 94s is blowing into your value dealer. Excitement, Pontiac excitement is yours at key. Pontiac Bonneville creates a stir. Grand Am is voted most likely to exceed your expectations. And the all-new Grand Prix is indescribable. Only a test drive can say it right. If you can stand the excitement, we'll add the service and be your friends for life at your value dealer in Moline. Keys for everyone. This holiday season, get away from the hustle and bustle and discover the friendly atmosphere of goods in Kiwani. Relax and enjoy a glass of Christmas cheer in the wine cellar. Make holiday entertaining extra festive with a new dining room, living room, or accent piece and choose gifts of all sizes, whether you stuff a stocking in it or stuff it in a stocking. Our country store features homemade treats, handcrafted ornaments, and lots of other surprises. Come home for the holidays. Goods in Kiwani. <laughs> Raj Mash, weeknights on News Channel 8. 
Been a busy day up there in space today. Two spacewalking astronauts made the first repairs on the Hubble Space Telescope, and project directors say they earned their Dr. Goodrich certificates. Jim Slade has more. After the first spacewalk, Hubble was much improved, but the astronauts were worse for the wear. Jeff Hoffman and Story Musgrave left the shuttle's cabin an hour early and found enough to do to stay outside nearly two hours more than planned. They installed two new sets of the gyroscopic stabilizers that positioned Hubble accurately. Three of its original six had died, putting the telescope close to losing control. Okay, that's good stuff. Then the astronauts installed the equipment's electronics. Ground checks made while the crewmen were near enough to make corrections proved the systems were working. Oh, now we're in trouble. Things got tense when they tried to close the equipment bays. Even though the astronauts struggled repeatedly, the door latches wouldn't come together. Finally, they improvised, winching them shut with a cargo strap far enough to bolt them closed. He had some problems with the uh, closing the door because of some thermal expansion. They're seeing a different thermal or temperature environment in the shuttle bay than they do in space. They were back in the cabin after a total of seven hours and 55 minutes in the vacuum, the second longest spacewalk in U.S. history. The second step comes tonight when astronauts Kathy Thornton and Tom Akers take their turn installing a new set of solar panel wings on Hubble. That delicate operation is likely to take the entire six hours set aside for the second spacewalk. Jim Slade, ABC News, Houston. Well, it's going to get whiter, colder, and windy as well. John David returns to take a fleet look at the weather when the night side continues. Presenting gifts and greens at Suburban Garden Center. Suburban has a wonderful selection of real and permanent treats, wreaths, garlands, holiday centerpieces, and poinsettias in all sizes and colors. Shop Suburban's unique selection of gifts, specialty foods, gift baskets, kid stuff, t-shirts, gardener's treasures, bird lover's presents, and much more. I didn't know Suburban had all this holiday stuff. Plus, Suburban will wrap your gifts free and ship them right from the store. Shop for all your gifts and greens at Suburban Garden Center, 53rd and Jersey Ridge, Davenport. Hurry to McDonald's Holiday Film Festival, featuring the classic Charlotte's Web, unbelievably priced at just $5.99 when you buy any large sandwich. Or get the hit Ghost. Yes! Or the Addams Family. Showtime! Or Wayne's World. Ah! Just $5.99 each when you buy any large sandwich. No way. way. You can see these new movies at theaters and own the originals. But hurry, because these values will be gone in a flash. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. I can't control the markets. But I do have the power to choose the right seat. Pioneer brand 3417. Count on it. When you rotate from corn to soybeans, stay with the brand that gives you a proven yield advantage. Pioneer. See your Pioneer sales representative for the soybean varieties right for you. Quality breeds comfort. This time of year, safety means comfort. And nobody handles tough winter roads better than Ford's lineup of front-wheel drive cars, like Ford Taurus. Now you can lease America's best seller with standard dual airbags and anti-lock brakes for only $266 a month for 24 months. Or you can buy a new Taurus and save over $11,000.